Welcome. This is Art Linux XFC Openbox i3, but it looks a little bit different. And this is Openbox. The video I just made was about um, Xmonads and Polybar and having two bars. Now I just want to make this video on Openbox to ensure that the message gets across that Polybar does not need to be just for Xmonad. It's there for BSBWM. It can be there for i3 but not standard. And it can be there for open box, but not standard. And also as this its own thing. So the polybar is an interesting thing in the sense that you have lots of uh, modules out there. And there's an, a very long article about all the modules in uh, articlinux.com. And all these modules you see up here can be changed, can be tweaked, can be recolored, new icons, etc., etc. You can make them your own. And in the video of the Xmonad, we made a second polybar. Now, in order to have polybar on the XFC Openbox i3 ISO, the full ISO, you need to first build polybar. The configuration files are already loaded, but not the program, the application itself. So if you go on and have a look at the .config, you'll see that you have a polybar there. So you can easily switch between um, menus like in i3 or if you want an open box. So this is about polybar and adding a second menu. So the result is already here. This is not virtual box. This is a real thing, a real machine. So the result is there already. And let's go over the steps. We have in Arca Linux a very important folder called .bin. In .bin there's some fun stuff, this is all the fun stuff. There's also very serious stuff like stay rolling, making sure that you don't need to clean install and that you don't need to reinstall but just keep updating. And this one is also a very important one. In case of Polybar I would always say first run 00 so you're pretty sure that you're using all the cores. In my case it's gonna be much faster to build Polybar Otherwise, Arch Linux, Arch Linux will say just one core. Here you go. And now all eight cores will going to will try to build, and that's this then. Yay, Polybar! Build Polybar yourself. This is already installed. That's the configuration. That's what we teamed and tweaked and uh, the config. But this is the application itself. So if you need to, you need to actually run this completely, install it, and this takes very long this is of course already installed so already built so it's in maybe included in the video as well everything that happens with yay is in cache yay All right so yes polybar has been built and yes he discovers there is already a package so it just installs it if i delete the polybar is going to do it all over again build it all over again Control t yay polybar and it's going to take a while, but my A course will be kicking in and that's good. So um, I think we have go top, for instance, go top is going to show that my CPU is going for full 100%, all eight of them. It is doesn't say eight here, but it does say zero here. So often the case in informatics, they start with zero and end with seven, basically eight. So let him do his job, he's, he's going to peak. You see it here as well, my conky, I see it here as well in red. Fine, burn. Do I have the sensor? Not in this conky, so I don't know how hot he's going to be. So sensors, he's already 60% or 60 degrees, I mean. And it's probably gonna get hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. No, it's not cutting hotter. So that's good. Already done. 100%. So that's building Polybar. He's compressing it and let's get it installed again. So that's your building process. As you see up here, eight cores have been used. And the memory, of course, a little bit of requirement for memory. If we uh, let's think about the steps. OK, so the Polybar is installed now you go to tunar file manager now you go to the open box you go to the auto start 
and then you can say forget about tin 2 so I don't want to see tin 2 I want this guy polybar launch so normally it's set like this this tin 2 will stay the, the, the normal menu for open box but you can change it up and have fun so you say to the system tin 2 forget about it I'm going over to polybar and that's basically what we're looking at if you log out and log in and that's why I've everything is already recorded everything is already working it's in the not the virtual box is the real thing so if you log out log in polybar will kick in there is one difference it will only have this bar up here and not that bar down here what do you do then you go to the polybar itself which is in the dot config polybar you take you take a look at the launch.sh and we have lots of systems already that are using polybar i3 openbox bspwm and xmonad right so the video earlier on was about xmonad and i thought hey i should also make one for openbox of course this will be the same thing on i3 so there i stop it's going to be the same thing here for the guys on i3 or bspwm and let's go for openbox and we've Deleted, you see here everything is gray. Everything used to be gray here as well in open box. And all what I did was go before here, delete, 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 and delete and save. That's it. This this just text that is uh, doesn't matter, but the rest, all the hashtags are gone. And that's what you need to do. So I've got got rid here of the hashtags in open box. Control z and control y safe nothing changed everything stays the same again i have to log out a login and then the polybar will be started and you'll have the possibility to change things so have a look at control find open box and the main bar open box is the one at the top why because it says bottom falls and if you scroll down there's a main bar open box extra extra is the bottom why the bottom because it says here bottom is true and where do these things come from these elements on there because i have activated the module to the left x window release release kernel kernel memory one memory two date same goes for the bottom has also this line load average network speed network speed file system I have explained in the other video about xmonad how it is really possible that you don't have anything here I say hey it's broken no you need to go inside your own system and see what your name is or uh, your interface your if config and then you need to apply it that's explained in the other video of xmonad it applies to any of these desktops you need to change the modules to the hardware you have okay that concludes this uh, how to get two polybars one at the top and one at the bottom all right enjoy